China's top nuclear envoy Wu Dawei has uh, returned home from his surprise visit to North Korea. What did he do in the reclusive state? What message did he deliver? Did he discuss Pyongyang's planned rocket launch? All eyes were on what he had to say, but much to the dismay, he did not say much. What does that imply? What does that mean? More questions than answers. Our foreign affairs correspondent Kwon Soa reports. China's top man in charge of Korean affairs and nuclear matters, Wu Dawei, returned from his three-day trip to North Korea on Thursday, but without clear results. Following his arrival, China's foreign ministry said Wu held talks with his North Korean counterpart Lee Yong-ho, Pyongyang's foreign minister Lee Su-yong, and deputy foreign minister Kim Ge-gwan. All the ministry spokesperson could reveal on details of their discussion was... There were two aspects. One was bilateral relations between China and North Korea, including all kinds of issues in China and North Korean relations. The second also was, of course, things related to the current situation on the Korean Peninsula. Seoul's Foreign Affairs Ministry did not comment on what could have been discussed, but said it's in talks with Beijing. I emphasize that North Korea and China are closely communicating on the result of Wu Dawei's North Korea trip. The Chinese representative for the six-party nuclear talks embarked on the surprise trip on Tuesday amid international discussions on how to deal with North Korea for its latest nuclear test, as well as its potential rocket launch planned for later this month. The degree of sanctions are thought to have been part of discussions, but some say stopping Pyongyang from its satellite launch, what many may have been hoping for, was not Wu Dawei's priority. The North's public announcement of its launch shows a resolute drive, behind which there's the decision of its leader Kim Jong-un himself. Given Wu Dawei's status, it wouldn't have been easy for him to execute any pressure on North Korea. Wu told reporters upon arrival in Beijing that he said what must be said, did what must be done, but at the same time does not know what the outcome will be. Experts speculate that this could mean the Chinese diplomat returned home empty-handed. Kwon Soa, Arirang News.